Hello everyone, this is Diane. I am just kind of going through the pages of the Strawberry Journals and adding embellishments and just kind of just seeing what else they need. So I thought I'll turn the camera on and you can play along with me. I hope that you have um, a craft out on your table and that you're working along and we can keep each other company. So these are the signatures from the smaller, the hardcover book journal. And what I did today was um, just form the paint chip into a tag and I added this picture of a strawberry platter that was in a book and punched the hole and uh, added a journaling spot to the back. This is a dyed paper and a sticker. And I did the rest of the stenciling on the other it's very subtle. Uh, I think that's all I did. So let's see, I'm going to add something here. I have a lot of stickers and fussy cuts, both from digitals and from books. Don't need that. So let's add a sticker here. This looks like some, court, some kind of a layered dessert with cream and strawberries in between and maybe a strawberry drink. But to make it a little special, I'm going to get a stamp out. Hang on. Sorry guys, I didn't know I was going to want to do this. This isn't exactly the one I was looking for, but I think this set will do. I thought it I thought I would just have something swirly on the page. So I could put this on it. Go that way and then put the sticker there. Let's try that. And what color should I do it in? <coughs> On a pink paper, I'm going to try it in the green. No. in a neutral color. Let's try this one, soft suede. And if we don't like it, there's nothing else done on that page, so I can just swap it out. Trying to get the backing off the sticker again. You can always do it faster when the video is not on. Whoops. I apologize. Knocked you for a loop. There, that's kind of nice. I can use these because um, they kind of look like the strawberry flowers. So I'll leave that stamp set out. And you can see through. So I could cover part of that with. 
just gluing a piece of wallpaper or wrapping paper down. crooked. <clears throat> don't know where that ink came from. This looks a little distressed there. Um, I want to add some sort of textile cluster or collage or something. So I might need to just kind of gather things and then wait till I can go to my sewing machine. But I have this piece of pink sari. And what else do I have here? I love this locked sheer piece. should do it down here to cover up that brown. I think instead of sewing, I'll just glue it down. Just a quick little collage there. With some little bits and pieces. And we've got plain white here. I printed on the backs of some of the digitals, but this was was not from the main digital kit that I'm using. This was from, I think it's polka dot pixels. 
Oh, I made this pocket with a piece of vellum. I don't know if I, I think I showed that to you yesterday. So how about a recipe here? I have a bunch of these little recipes that came out of books. It's not cut very straight. And I could back it with something. some fibers behind it or something for interest. I thought this was a variegated one, but it's just coming off pink. So where does this green come from? find the end of it. I'm just going to cut it. might be selecting some fabric pieces or lace pieces or both to use as tabs on some of the pages. I think I need to put something behind that. Like a pink cardstock. Apparently I don't have any pink cardstock scraps left. Oh wait, is this where they are? Yes. But they're little. Nothing big enough. I could use red. That would probably be better because I have a pink doily. Yeah, let's do that. This isn't going to be a tuck, it's just a decoration. this kind of thing too often so see if I can make it work How about if I just do them together Oh, I'm just going to glue this down and we'll try to make those fibers work.
Hopefully, hopefully it'll look okay. dripping on my mat. And on this side, I think we'll just do a stamp. It's okay to have blank pages. I struggle with it, but it's okay. It's nice to have blank space to write on. Or block is too big for this stamp, but it works. but it's just down. Um, I'll just leave those pages. I had some merchandise tags. Here they are. I'm going to put... Oh, let's... Where are my green ones? I got one. Put that in there. And I have this I can tuck behind. Or maybe something bigger. This is a cover from a magazine that's thick, so I thought this would make good tags. just round the corners. The back of that's gorgeous too. But I needed this side today. So we will have to cover this. And I have my little box, little drawer of lined papers that I can use, lined or blank papers. This is vintage. It says words I like. Maybe I can center that. I'm not going to try to use my paper trimmer for this because this is an older paper that's a little bit pulpy and so I think the paper trimmer would just tear it. 
could have just glued this down and then cut around it, right? Yep. But I wanted to center that phrase. So I think I did it the right way. Even when you think you're almost done with a journal, which I don't think I'm, I would have said I'm almost done. I think I'm more than halfway. But even if you think you're almost done and you wanna go through and do the finishing touches, it takes a long time, especially when you're doing three journals. And that just makes a lovely tag. And put a little piece of vintage eyelet at the top. pink polka dot ribbon. See how that looks. I'll make it a little smaller. And I still have to add some things to the pocket, to the slots, but I'll do that later. Okay. Oh, this is wallpaper. All right, I do want to cover that. What will I cover it with? I got this green ticking in a Happy Mail, and I already had my fabric flips done and my fabric pockets. So maybe I can, maybe I can use it here. Let's see. of pockets in this journal that's for sure because I had so many things to make pockets out of 
but I wanted to, I got this in the same Happy Mail, and I wanted to use this in here also. but I will sew this. We've got pockets on both sides. So this one piece has four pockets if I do it this way. I want to cover that too, so I guess we'll do it this way. But I will sew that. <laughs> don't want the paper clip to get caught in the crochet. This is a page from a recipe book. Strawberry cream roll, strawberry angel shortcake, super strawberry shortcake. Um, I won't do anything to that except maybe add some washi tape. some other ones out. This page was already made. It was left over from <clears throat> strawberry journals I made last year, and I'm not sure why this page didn't get put in. I even had the, tuck, the things tucked in. I'm just looking for lined paper to put on the back of this. I believe this came from a Presto flower recipe booklet. I see lots of Presto here. And some of it's cut off there. around those corners.
This is a placemat that I cut up. I can put this in the center here to add some color to this page. Also, put some words. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> see, happiness. Strawberries bring happiness. And sweet, for obvious reasons. And I have these little strips of the colored graph paper. I was thinking about putting a little circle on here, but what will I make the circle out of? Maybe that. I don't know how big I want them. Maybe I don't want it because I already have um, three pieces there, and now I'm making it four, and that is an odd number. Let's see. Maybe I can make it five. better. <clears throat> this is a textured paper. Okay, they're fine. Thank you. 
as I'm making this video today. It is Tuesday and we have a nice sunny day. Yesterday was, the last couple of days were quite warm, upper 70s. Today I think it's supposed to be in the upper 60s, which I prefer. I'm gonna make dinner for my young friend likes to come over sometimes. She would like to come over a lot more often than I have her. Just have so much to do. So she's going to come over for some chicken breast today. And tomorrow I'm going to a Wego to one of the uh, like a vendor mall with my friend Lisa. Well, maybe I'll have stuff to show you that I get from there. So that, as the center of the signature, looks a little better because it has some color and we have the envelope in the middle. I will leave this open and sew the signature in and then glue it closed. I'll just have to trim that a little bit and it will fit in there. Um, it doesn't fit quite just like this and then there will be a knot there so I have to trim some of this off and there we go Looks like he's crying, but he's saying hurrah <laughs> for fresh fruit jam. This is from wrapping paper. We'll just add these decorations on here and then we'll move on.
got to order some more of this glue. I'm almost out of it. And my refill bottle is gone. Oh, that is the wrong pin. That pin doesn't fit in that tiny little nozzle. I had a green top for this one, but I dropped it on the floor yesterday and it just vanished as soon as it hit the floor. Oh, I tried to bake some more of these, but they weren't working out. I tried, um, I can't find one of the pieces of my thing of a jig, the plastic that you stamp on, and I just didn't feel like fussing. So I tried to do it without the thingamajig, and I couldn't. But this I did last year. <laughs> I was like, where did that come from? This is the page that I had, had made last year. I already have some pieces in there. Need something for in there. I might have to print some more cards. Let's see, I have these here. Okay, I'll tuck that in there. I think I'd like to put a tag in there, but not a strawberry print. I was looking at my, how about this one? Apparently I had this cut into a page that I didn't need. So I'll make this into a tag. by six and a half in case you're wondering. For now, I'll just tuck it in there. All right, that is one signature that is pretty much done now have to do a little sewing and oh let's think about tabs let me grab my fabric and make a, find a place or two to put a fabric tab in that signature so I'll know where to put them in the other signatures something with small prints these are my small pieces of fabric I have the fabric flip in the first um, half of the signature so see if we can put the tab in the back half. I think on the wallpaper. I like the gingham with the ticking. I 
think I cut the ticking a little short. Or the, not the ticking, the checks. And then I can sew that on there. Okay, now I just have eight more signatures to go through. And I'll have to come up with stuff to put in those pockets too. is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully I'll have more time to come in here and work and get an, get another signature or two uh, ready. But uh, I am making progress. I don't want to, I can't do too much because, you know, the spines are already made. So we do have some room, but not a lot, and I have two more signatures to do. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're doing something creative today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.